There's a couple of buttons on the advanced digitizing toolbar that's really easy to be confused by because they do similar things. The view menu and then toolbars and advanced digitizing toolbar is how you activate the advanced digitizing toolbar. And to make it live, just make sure you've selected your layer that you want to edit and you've clicked toggle editing. Now I've got Idaho on my screen here and the two buttons I'm looking at have scissors in them. One's called split features and the other one's called split parts. And this can be a little bit confusing. So just let's just take a look. If we go to Idaho and open up the attribute table, we've got one shape and it's got one row. So there's one record for Idaho, there's one shape there. If I click on split features and I'll left click outside the shape, move the line across Idaho, left click again, and I'll right click to finish. What we see is a line here and Idaho is split into two. If I open the table, we can now see there's two separate polygons here and they each have an individual record. Okay, so we've split it into two polygons and that was split features. So I'm gonna undo that. The other one is split parts. So we've got a shape here for Idaho. There's only one part to it. If we do the same thing again, right click out, sorry, left click outside the shape, cut across it, left click again, and then right click to finish. What we get if we select it is the whole thing gets selected. So it's still one single polygon and we can confirm that by opening the attribute table but it's got two shapes in it. So it's like a multi-part polygon. So that's the difference between these two. I'll undo that. If you want to take a shape and then make two separate shapes, use split features and you can make your line as wiggly as you like. I was just doing a simple one. Once you're done, you right click outside the shape and then we have two separate shapes. So. You want to split something in two into two parts, use split features. If you want to keep it as one single feature and have different parts to it, you can use split parts. And hopefully I will remember this too, but otherwise I'll come back and watch this video.